Hi, everyone. This is Jesse and Azalea here to bring you our craft today. We are making two different kinds of paints today. We're going to make an ice paint and a snow paint. They're both really easy and things you can make with what you have at home. But if you do need anything, let us know. We have some extra here. Um, and I have lots of black paper as well, which is kind of fun. So yeah, we're going to use black construction paper. Yeah, we got some paint brushes. We have a few different sizes of paint brushes. And our first paint we're going to make is um, ice paint. And that uses Epsom salt, which is not table salt. This is Epsom salt. It's a bigger crystal. Um, this has a eucalyptus scent, which is kind of nice, but not necessary. And I got this at the dollar store. Like I said, we don't need all this, so let me know if you need any. So it is just about one to one Epsom salt to oh, hot yeah. water. You're going to use it in just a second. This is our uh, hot water, boiling water. I'm just going to pour enough over the salt to start to melt it. We're going to mix that up. So when this um, recrystallizes, once it dries on your paper, it's going to look like um, like ice crystals. The crystals will reform. You can add um, I do. when you want to paint with it or stir it up. Stir up. Careful, it's still warm. Beautiful. So um, you can add food coloring. Oh, no. <laughs> you could use your old um, dried out markers to add the color, or you can just keep it white. All right now, we're going to, we got it mostly melted. Now we're going to draw on here. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, it doesn't look like much, but as it dries, the crystals are going to reform and they're going to look super cool. All right. So you can keep working on that one if you'd like. Get some more paint. The other type of paint is snow paint. And that is Elmer's glue and shaving cream. You can also add glitter if you want it to look sparkly. This is also one to one. So, but it makes a lot. And you know, this one will get bored in about 10 minutes. So I'm not gonna make a ton. And it doesn't last, so don't make a whole bunch and think it's gonna last forever. Just make a little bit at a time. So I have about the bottom covered in glue and I'm gonna do a small layer of shaving cream. I want them to be about equal parts. This time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. My yard. Yeah, you want to use this one too? There it is. You see that big paper. I'm just going to mix the two together. So this is going to look like a big puffy paint. It will stick up off of your paper, um, but it will dry and get a little bit crunchy. Just sort of a fun sensory experience nice. and should make some cool keepsakes or just at least an afternoon of fun. You wanna paint with this one? All right, let's put your ice paint to the side. We'll let that dry because I'm excited to see how that looks. Let's get another sheet and paint. Yeah. All right, you do. Kind of looks like you're painting with shaving cream, but it will all stay together. Let's paint. Can we do a snowman? Let's do one big blob. And then he needs a middle blob. And a little blob. Just so we can show our friends what it looks like. All right. Some snow paint and it's um, got some nice texture. It really sticks up off of the paper. All right, baby girl, go to town. Okay. <laughs> All right, and we should have some cool paintings to share with you later on. Um, I would love to see your work and what you have experimented with. 
And we will have these available at the library if you'd like to come and check them out or grab some more materials because we have lots of paper and glue and shaving cream and salt. They're just not made up into kits. So just give us a call and let us know what you need. <laughs> Does that feel sticky? All right, my friends, we're gonna go wash. I hope you have a great day. We will see you tomorrow for story time. Have a good one. Mm-hmm.